Hello all of you, uh, today the topic of our uh, class would be the bioentrepreneurship. So first of all we need to get introduced to this topic that says uh, bioentrepreneurship, the innovation and commercialization of the biotechnology products. First of all we need to understand that what basically uh, is bioentrepreneurship. For understanding bioentrepreneurship, we first need to introduce the term that is bioentrepreneur. As it has been uh, described into this particular uh, flow diagram, this says that bioentrepreneur is a person or itself he is a subject who is engaged in bioentrepreneurship. Who basically is in uh, bioentrepreneur? Bioentrepreneur is a term used for a person who is involved in the process uh, that is known as bioentrepreneurship. In bioentrepreneurship, he is involved into activities, he is involved into uh, rather I would say that he is involved in commercial activities, commercial activities for, by which he is generating the uh, economic benefits for himself, for the society as well as for the nation. So the complete task uh, of uh, bioentrepreneur is known as bioentrepreneurship by which he will be uh, comprising a unit that is the basic outcome and this outcome will be called as bioenterprise. Now we are already familiar with the terms like uh, bioentrepreneur or bioentrepreneurship. So uh, a new term that is being added is bio. This bio term means that uh, the entrepreneur himself is uh, involved into field of in the field of the science. We can say that medical science and life sciences. Uh, this would also include the uh, functions like in agriculture, in the medical sector, and all other allied uh, sectors. In this uh, kind of things, the bioentrepreneur himself would be responsible for all the activities he will be doing. He will simply be uh, em employed into the processes, into the manufacturing uh, processes or into the managerial practices by himself by which he will be processing out the things which will be uh, framing the organization and the organization will be called as bioenterprise. Why bioenterprise? Same, uh, it would uh, again include the term bio, it means that this enterprise will be dealing with the either the production, the goods or the services relating or uh, relating to the sector that we could say the medical sciences or the life sciences. So that is why we have defined these terms like uh, bio entrepreneur, bio enterprise as well as bio entrepreneurship. So let us see this diagram, this diagram basically tells us that bio entrepreneur he is a person, person means uh, he himself uh, could be uh, involved into this or a group of people might be involved into the uh, setting up of a bio enterprise. The person is basically uh, uh, called as the subject, why are we calling it as subject? Because he is the person who is responsible for both the uh, upcoming uh, processes that is bio entrepreneurship as well as the setting up of the bio enterprise. So that is why he will always be classified as the subject, he is the person who will be involved in all the kind of activities uh, that could be either the managerial practices, that could be either the uh, production practices or to look after all the problems associated with the establishment of these two things. Next is the bio entrepreneurship, what is bio entrepreneurship? It is basically the process or the action which are done by the bio entrepreneur for the establishment of the bio enterprise. What kind of actions could be done? First of all, he will have to uh, think of an idea, idea could be either innovative or it could be either prevailing into the market, he will be uh, working over to that idea and he will be uh, converting into a uh, subject, that is subject means that uh, he will bring it into the existence. Something that was uh, originally uh, only a thought uh, that was uh, existing in the mind of the bio entrepreneur, he is now uh, involved for the uh, conversion of the idea into the uh, existing bio enterprise. The idea could be either about the production of any kind of product that is a physical kind of product or uh, otherwise he could be involved into any kind of service. Service means he is not obtaining any kind of product but he will be providing some kind of the services. Like in general terms we say that uh, we get our uh, equipments, our electronic gadgets service. In the same way a bio entrepreneur will be providing services like he could be uh, uh, providing guidelines to certain kind of institutions which are dealing with the uh, bio practices, otherwise he could be uh, providing solutions pertaining to uh, biomedical or other kind of sectors. So in this way the bio entrepreneur will always be, uh, will also be associated with the services that could be a part of our bio enterprise. Now as we have said that these are the processes and as well as the action, what basically the bio entrepreneur is doing? Yeah, I had already told you that uh, he will be uh, responsible for the idea that uh, might have clicked into his mind for which he is uh, 
converting that idea into a physical existing, physically existing by enterprise. The other thing could be that uh, he will be himself looking after all the managerial uh, tasks like how is he going to plan uh, for establishing of his business, how is he going to uh, create the capital so that it could be invested for uh, the establishment of his or her firm, how is he going to uh, take it to a run, run means that how is he going to uh, take up the kind of task that he will be employed in. The other thing is uh, how the buy entrepreneur will be involved. Uh, in successful running of the of his or her business. Now the third term that comes is the buy enterprise. Buy enterprise is nothing except for a body, a body uh, in which uh, buy entrepreneur will be the person who will be working and he will be uh, doing the task that is buy entrepreneurship. Any kind of uh, thing like he will be producing or he will be providing any kind of services, all those will be provided into a uh, physical platform. That physical pr platform is known as the buy enterprise. It could be either a factory in which the goods might be, might be produced or it could be located into a small room in which the buy entrepreneur would be sitting and would be providing solutions like I have told you like the services to the uh, public. So that is why we are calling it that the whole process uh, of uh, the buy entrepreneur would lead into a outcome and this outcome will be called as the bio enterprise. That is why it is the basic object. As you can remember that we had called buy entrepreneur as the subject and this subject is uh, now connected to the object that is the buy enterprise. So this is the basic introduction of our uh, uh, the term that we have uh, introduced that is buy entrepreneurship. So ultimately the outcomes uh, the outcome comes out to be that whole of the process of establishment of a uh, buy enterprise by and buy entrepreneur requires very many kinds of activities or actions or processes all these actions and processes are combinedly called to be the bio entrepreneurship. For getting into this kind of business there are very many kind of activities that are required. All those uh, activities uh, including the uh, generation of the investment up till the generation of profit or the or in uh, the worst case could be the losses. This whole process will combinedly be called as the bio entrepreneurship. So this is the basic uh, introduction to this. Next would be the uh, discussion about the qualities or the characteristics that are expected from an buy entrepreneur. These are, so uh, we were discussing about the characteristics and qualities that are required or expected from a buy entrepreneur. So what are, are the uh, expected qualities and characteristics? So we have uh, uh, taken out some of the important qualities as well as characteristics that are uh, required from a buy entrepreneur. So these are the following. As the first one says, he should, he or she should be a risk taker. What is meant by the term risk taker? As the entrepreneur is involved into the uh, process that is buy entrepreneurship, in which for establishment of his or her buy enterprise, he would be investing certain amount of money, he would be investing certain amount of his energy, his time, and all other important resources. So he will always be taking some kind of risk. Uh, in which the risk could be, be accounted for either he might uh, conquer the losses, he might uh, face certain kinds of uh, adverse uh, sides into his or her business. So uh, he will always be taking risk uh, against his uh, money, against his time, against his other valuable resources. So he will always be a risk taker. The entrepreneur is expected to have the capacity to take certain amount of risks. Next is it is a very important characteristic to be innovative. Why is it uh, important to be innovative? Because at certain uh, instances in life, whenever the entrepreneur is involved into his uh, uh, process of uh, running his enterprise, at instances the market uh, would be uh, inappropriate for him or her or in other conditions. So he should be having uh, this stamina into himself so that he could survive that phase. So if he is having the uh, characteristic of being innovative, then he might uh, get ideas that would uh, click him for his survival. He might transform his product, he might uh, use the creativity of uh, himself or herself to give a new uh, kind of value added product. So this is uh, a very important uh, characteristic for himself. Next is the persuader of David pursuits means he should not be sticking to a certain kind of task. He should be uh, having diversity in all kinds of uh, activities that are involved into the course of his business means that he if uh, he's uh, if his organization is requiring four or five different kinds of tasks to be done like uh, if he is providing any kind of product then he should be knowing that how this uh, product is going to be manufactured how this product is going to be marketed 
how consumers are going to be attracted towards these products. So, he should always be having the knowledge about all these kind of things and he should be having capability to do different types, uh, types of tasks at different point of time as uh, it is required uh, by the time. Next is the independent, uh, the entrepreneur is required to be independent, why? Because uh, if he is running a, is his own kind of uh, organization, then he is uh, basically an uh, employer by himself. He is not uh, involved in any kind of job. So, he should be uh, independent by his thoughts, he should be independent by his activities. He should not be uh, involved in certain kind of activities that would uh, hinder his kind of uh, his uh, activities. Next one is uh, he should be determined. He should be determined to take this kind of risk so that he could be uh, able to get into this kind of uh, business so that he could run it. Determination is very much required for entering into uh, the field of business. Next is that determination uh, is always called along with the word that is patience. In uh, certain instances, uh, we have already seen that uh, if an individual is uh, basically involved into a kind of business and if he is determined to do some kind of work, then he might uh, be anxious that uh, what are the factors for which he has been uh, losing uh, the amount of time, the uh, valuable money and all other things. So, he should be patient so that uh, along with determination, if the patience is always uh, is also available into the entrepreneur, then he might uh, conquer the adverse situations. The next one is leadership. Leadership uh, also is a very important uh, characteristic that is also required. We all know that leadership not only for being an entrepreneur, it is a vital uh, power, it is a vital characteristic uh, that every individual should be having into himself or herself. Next comes the competitiveness. Competitive me uh, competitiveness means that he should be able to compete, compete with his competitors that are uh, existing into the market, competition with the adverse conditions that might be uh, altering the kind of uh, the business he is running. So, he should be having the power to compete. So, that is meant by this term competitiveness. Next comes that he should be future oriented. Future oriented means that if a buy entrepreneur has uh, already established his business, now his business is uh, running smoothly. So, he should not uh, sit down and relax. He should always be uh, in the mood to grow, to, earn, to uh, achieve more and more so that he could uh, at, uh, even at the adverse times, his business is not uh, left to be set back. So, future oriented means that he should always have a vision for his or her future so that every time he is uh, running about the growth. Next is persistence in the face of adversity. As uh, we all are common human beings, so uh, it is expected from us that if uh, adverse conditions are faced, then uh, we might get feared that uh, what is going to be happening into the near future. So, he should be having the capability to persist in the face of adversity. Means, if the adverse conditions are being faced, then he should not uh, run and give up for his business. He should be having the stamina to stay into that particular ad, uh, adverse condition and he should be able to fight with that. So, that uh, if the adverse conditions have come, he may improve it. Uh, all these uh, uh, the characteristics that we have discussed, these characteristics if inculcated into a human being will help him to stay in the adverse conditions also. So, that is all about the uh, topic that is required as the introduction for the biotechnology. That is all. Thank you.